Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 40 of Let's Play Legend of Lagaya, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, this is Uramize, and one of these doors just opened. This is the one on the left side. Let's go check that one out first. Okay, looks like some kind of twisting corridor. At least there are no enemy battles, which goes to show this is a very sacred place. Huh, <laughs> cute, cool looking doors. Hmm, does it really matter what path we take? Do they all lead to the same area? Well, this must be for Noah. Suddenly, serene words enter Noah's mind. Noah! Noah! Noah and Terra! Welcome, human! Welcome, Ra Seru! The stone stage awaits you. It awaits your dreams. It awaits your mind, Noah. Noah! What's wrong? Noah? Where are you going? Looks like she's sleepwalking. Vaughn! Listen! You can tell by Noah's breathing. She's sound asleep. I wonder if she's asleep. I mean, look what she's sleeping on. It looks so comfortable. It's like a mattress made out of jello. Gala, Noah is being drawn into Teague's spirit world. She's going to have an important dream now. Alright, let's see what that dream's all about. Noah. I'm thinking of naming this child Noah. Wait, so when Noah's father was a king? That's a lovely name. Noah, the promise of a new era. Yes, a new era of prosperity and hope. That is what this child represents. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I've come on a most pressing matter. Jet, enter. Oh, nice hair! How much gel did you use? I trust Her Majesty is in good spirits. Actually... What? Court did that? You see, Your Majesty... I understand. I'll go at once. How much gel? Did something happen to court? It's... It's nothing to worry about. I'm sure. I can't talk now. I'm going below to investigate the matter for myself. Noah! Cockrum's future! Your future! Noah! I want you to have a happy, prosperous future. If only you knew what kind of future she was gonna have. It's the mist! Get rid of the Seru! Lock the doors! What, are you being overwhelmed by Gimards and theaters? They're low grade. Astap! Courageous soldiers of Soren, this town of Conqueror will soon die. I care nothing of my own life. Let the mist take it. After all, I am the queen. I must share the same fate as this nation. But this newly born child, Noah, I want her to see the future. Please, take this child to a land untouched by the mist. Take her to a world with a future. Please! Your Majesty! Your courage is inspiring. I will take Noah as far as I can, however far that may be. Thank you. Now hurry! The mist is getting closer! I shall take it now. Your Majesty! Go now! 
Hurry! The mist draws near! Magic wings! I'm like a masculine! Oh, Noah! Well, it's good to know she really cared about her daughter. Oh, that's some pretty bad flying. Wound up in Mount Rikuroa. There's a wolf. Oh, the wolf cared for Noah even before being infused with Terra. Oh, so this was the very moment Terra came to be. So, your name is Noah. How do you do, Noah? I am Terra. I have decided to live with you. Good to know a baby doesn't really have a choice. Noah, young victim of the whims of fate. The past etched in your mind is now revealed. The pain of your past may have left large scars and may gnaw at your heart. But never lose hope, for when there is hope, you can draw strength from the past. That is what being human is all about. For humans are those who, with hope in their hearts, find the future through the past. Okay, at least that wasn't a very long bit of dialogue. Okay, you can wake up now. The words echo in Noah's mind. Noah, my child, your dream is fulfilled. And we just leave. Noah, are you all right? Uh huh. Fun, Gala. Let's go to Cockrum after we destroy the floating castle. Someone's waiting for me in Cockrum. Someone who knows me. So we have to go to Cockrum, okay? Do you promise? Hey. Fun, look. A ray of light from the pillar. Gala! Someone's there! Who are these mysterious people? Whoever it is must be using the light to show himself to us. Maybe that's Teague. Vaughn, let's go look. In begin was Teague. Teague was every, then him into two. Those hum Seru also defend world to human Seru. To pro to place genus trees, human wood and tree into in the guy. Okay, too bad they can't all speak proper English. Like full English. To go shows I grew from and bow as raw. Unintelligible speech. Wow, that really helps me. Okay, no good to talk to these people, because you're going to get some fragments of the story. We might as well check out the other areas. Okay, a red hallway. I assume this is Vaughn's dream. Because, you know, it's color-coded. As one would expect. Let me in, please. You know, Vaughn gets to go on the yellow jello. Suddenly, serene words enter Vaughn's mind, and why words are catalyzed, I have no idea. Vaughn! Vaughn! Fawn and Meta, welcome, human. Welcome, Ra Seru. The Stone Sage awaits you. It awaits your dreams. It awaits your minds. Fawn, what are you doing? You can't go by yourself. Uh, you did. 
Hey, Vaughn! Not you, too! What's going on here? It's not sleepwalking, gal. I get used to it. Look, Gala! Vaughn is sleeping! Noah, can you hear me? You mustn't awaken Vaughn. Vaughn is dreaming. Dreams mirror the heart. Vaughn is looking into his own heart. And Teig is watching. Now what is Vaughn going to dream about? Maybe dreams of me? <laughs> if you know what I mean. When the baby was born, there was too much hemorrhaging. If only we had Drake water, then Nora would be alright. With this mist, it would be next to impossible to reach Drake Castle. Vaughn! Vaughn! Vaughn, where are you going? Don't eavesdrop like that! Why? Welcome home, Vaughn. Village Elder is here, so pay your respects. Ah, oh, Vaughn, you're such a good child. I'll be going now. Vaughn, take good care of your mother. Oh, so this must be Vaughn's sister. Oh, Nene, right. Vaughn, you're so grown up now. So please, look after Nene. If only we had drink water. If only there were mist. No mist. No mist. Don't worry, Vaughn. I was just talking to myself. Your mother will get better. Don't lie to me. Vaughn, it's almost dark. Don't go outside the wall now. Well, one could only assume where Vaughn's gonna go. Val! 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 I looked all over the village, but I couldn't find him! I couldn't find Vaughn! Just as I thought, Vaughn must have sneaked outside the wall when we weren't looking! Oh no! He must be going to Drake Castle! He must have heard me talking to Village Elder! He's going to get Drake water! And with the mist around, obviously that's not going to go well. Val, can't you wait until the wind changes direction in the morning? If I cannot convince you otherwise, then so be it. I give my permission to open the gate. There you go, come on in! Yes, you know, your son's out there near the castle. Don't bother to run. Oh dear! Vaughn managed to return safely from Drake Castle, but Val was attacked by Seru. He survived, but they say his leg will never be the same again. And Nora. Oh, what a poor family. So sadly, Nora died. Vaughn, do not blame yourself for the past. Do not feel guilty. The past cannot be changed. Instead, you must be brave and work to create the future. That is what it means to be human. For humans are those who are brave enough to create their own future. That much is true. So we must be living with the sins of the past. Sadly, a lot of people do. The words echo in Vaughn's mind. Vaughn, my child, your dream is fulfilled. And then we leave again. So I'm guessing another light will illuminate from the top of the mice. Vaughn, are you alright? Were you having a bad dream? Vaughn, 
If you don't want to tell us what you were dreaming about, that's okay. Oh, it looks like only one more light to go. Fun, Gala! There it is again! The light! That light is called the Phantasmal Light. It's activated by your dreams. Phantasmal Light? Fun, Gala, that's neat! This is fun! I'm guessing we would only get that explanation through Vaughn's first. Ozma, you've heard of it before? What? Now why would a raw saber like you know about the Phantasmal Light? Why? Well, I... Tell me about it if you know. Or are the raw saber trying to manipulate us for some purpose? No, that's not it at all. Gala, you must believe me. We just wanted to talk to your minds, rather than explaining things with words. Well, if talking is what is that disagreeable to you, do what you must. But listen, Ozma. If your intentions ever diverge from mine, then believe me, you won't get away with it! What are you so angry about, Gala? I don't understand! <laughs> Come on, Fun! We have to have the last dream! Alright, come up with us, big guy. We still gotta have your dream. Which is on the back end. Like right over here. Okay, even though Gala is Thunder Elemental, it's blue due to the color of Ozma. I really think that Ozma should have been yellow rather than blue. But I guess blue stands out more. But who am I to complain? Because usually blue is the color of water. Come in, please. At least blue looks prettier. Suddenly, serene words enter Gala's mind. Gala! Gala! Gala and Ozma! Welcome, human! Welcome, Raseru! Vaughn's like, what? The Stone Sage awaits you! It awaits your dreams! It awaits your mind, Gala! Gala! Hey, Gala! Fun! Gala is walking away! Ooh, blue raspberry jello, my favorite! Fun, listen! Gala is snoring! Snoring? Noah, can you hear me? You mustn't awaken Gala! Gala is dreaming! Dreams mirror blah blah blah, I already said this. Gala must be the strongest in all of Byron. He has to be! Sangi can train all he wants, but he could never match Gala's spiritual strength. Silence! It's Master Zopu! This must be fairly recent. Eight years have passed since the mist covered the earth. These are difficult times, but... I am pleased at how hard each of you is devoting yourself to your training. Now, as you all know, tomorrow is Byron's Transmigration Festival. As always, we will hold the Ritual Tournament. Gala! Yes, Master Zopu. Songi! Yes, Master Zopu. As monks of Byron, there are things expected of you. You must fight with all your skills in order to make this a chivalrous tournament. Yes, sir! That is enough training for today. Time to begin your individual tasks. Okay. These two are the winners because they dress differently from us. Hey, Gala! That ritual tournament is such a drag, eh? 
Hey, I don't like that look in your eyes. Did you just spit on my shoes? Gala, I bet you think you're gonna win, don't you? No, I... To hell with you! I'm not stupid. I can tell by that look in your eyes. Huh. Yeah, forget it. Let's just have ourselves a good time tomorrow, alright? Ha ha ha. Well, this happened two years before Gala met Von and Noah. He's like, whatever. But Songi! Tomorrow is the tournament! If you take Jiggle Grass, your body will go numb and you won't be able to fight! Oh, that's a woman talking. Mind your own business! I can't take this headache anymore! Besides, Everyone knows that chicken old grass is the best thing for a headache. So quit yapping and just give me the chicken old grass now. All right, but don't blame me if things go wrong. Spoiler: she gets blamed. Soggy, do you want water? No, I'm gonna take this after I go back to my room. Runs like that anyway, with their arms playing around. Oh, Gala! This is so embarrassing, but. I was afraid you'd beat me tomorrow, and. I knew I shouldn't, but I took Fury Boots to help me fight better tomorrow. But as soon as I took them, I started feeling guilty. I felt self loathing. So here, you take a Fury Boost too! But why? This is a contest, so we gotta be fair, right? And I want this to be a fair fight. So go ahead, take it. Well, I don't know. All right, I'll do it. It's a trap! Pretty good. You just gulped that right down. Ha ha ha! Okay, let's go. Gala, Songi, are you ready? In praise of the great benevolence and miracles of Byron, we hold this ritual tournament. Let the tournament begin! What's the matter, Gala? Are you scared? Fight me! Ugh. Come on, Gala! It only took a matter of seconds. Gala lost. I don't believe it. Ha <laughs> ha That's right. I beat Gala. Me, Soggy. I win. That's it. Songi, you made Gala take the jiggle grass, didn't you? Ah, be quiet. How should I know what medicine he takes anyway? Stop playing dumb. You may think you've tricked Gala, but he knew. He knew all along. What? I told him. I told him that I gave you the Jigul grass. And I warned him not to take any medicine you gave him. What? But Gala just left. Oh, Song is my best friend. Don't worry, he said. But why did he take it anyway? Gala! Darn it! He's sleeping! He's still numb! Gala! You think you're clever, don't you? You think you let me win! You're so arrogant! You think it's funny to make a fool of me like that? Some best friend! You hypocrite! You'll never get away with this! Never! I'll crush you! Gala! I'll beat you to a pump! Or pulp! Gala, you did your best. You have nothing to be ashamed of. After all, even when unavoidable misfortune occurs, it is the spirit that remains in the end. So be proud of yourself, and use that pride to create happiness. That is what it means to be human. 
for humans are those who create their own happiness with their pride. Uh, could this event have led to Sangi betraying Byron in the first place? Out of bitterness of Gala? Yeah, there's a very good chance it did. Okay, wake up now. The words echo in Gala's mind. Gala, my child, your dream is fulfilled. Oh, that's all three dreams now. So the blue phantasmal light should be activated. Gala, you seem sad. In my dream, I remembered something I didn't want to. So that means we're all finished dreaming? Must be. Serene words echo in their minds. You did well, my children. Your dreams are now all fulfilled, and our souls are recalled to life. We shall teach you the past. We shall teach you the future. That is Teague's gift. That is the mission of Teague, the Seru human. Both Seru and human. Really? Huh. So he's a hybrid. Look! It's Teague! I can see Teague clearly now! Teague? Both Seru and human? In the beginning, there was Teague, and Teague was everything. Then Teague divided himself into two. Those were human and Seru. Teague also divided the world into two. The human world and Seru Kai. Huh, I see. Did Teague tell you everything? Well, everything I needed to know. Vaughn, Noah, Gala. Do the three of you now understand the Seru, Ra Seru, and Teague? Yep. Teague knows all. Now Teague will entrust you with the fire droplet. Well, I was probably going to get a good bit of backstory, but I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go along. The fire droplet. From an age when chaos was the world, and the world was chaos. The Fire Droplet is Chaos, and Chaos is the Fire Droplet. Teague, the pure, perfect being, saber human who is of spirit only. We shall now answer the hopes of human and raw Seru by opening the door to his world, here and now. Vaughn, Gala, I'm scared! We must make room for Teague. All right, how much room do you need, man? You know, if you wanted all that room, you could have just asked. Look, humans. Teague has brought the two worlds together into one. Chaos is summoned. The fire droplet is chaos. Teague now returns to chaos. Can we finally have this thing now? Teague's gone! And the phantasmal light's gone! So, oh, when are we going to get that fire droplet? Humans, take the fire droplet. Oh, now we get it. Of course it would have that shape. Teague has left the humans with his knowledge. Fun, use your courage. Gala, use your pride. Noah, use your hope. With these three things, Knowledge will create the future. Never forget that. We won't. A dream? That was all a dream? No, 
Look, Ella! Look, it's a fire droplet! Now yeah, we finally obtained it! Thank you, Teague! I hope we can meet again someday! We did it! Now, Vaughn, we must hurry back to Dr. Osha's laboratory. Well, we could go now, but there is another use of the fire droplet. If you were to equip it, your AP will always be set at 100. We could go to Dr. Usha's now, but let's head back to the Muscle Dome and try out the Expert Mode now that we got a fire droplet. Goodbye, everyone.